Hello, welcome for the first episode of Jimmy Reviews. Um, on today's episode, we will be reviewing the 1998 skateboard movie, The End. It's a board, birdhouse video, it's on VHS. It's available at Board of Missoula. So this video starts with, um, with Rick McCrank. He's looking at the newspaper and he sees a, a wanted ad for a skateboarder. So he hops on the plane and goes over. And it's a, it's a nice intro. They have a little part of him. He does a lot of backside tails, a lot of backside boards, a lot of rail stuff and stuff like that. And it's pretty exciting. Honestly, I think the intro is one of my favorite parts in the video. And then um, from there, it goes to Willie Santos. Uh, Willie Santos got some Beastie Boys in the back. Um, a lot of pop in, pop offs. He's got this cool little style that he can pop off ledges and uh, a lot of ledge tricks, a lot of flip tricks, nothing too exciting. And then from there, we got Andrew Reynolds, which is always fun because we all know Andrew Reynolds. And he looks about nine years old in this video. And um, he does some cool like backside threes, like the first thing he does is this big backside three over this double set. And um, he's just going big, you know, and there's some good slow motion stuff. And they have a, they have this whole monkey skit. It's pretty, uh, pretty entertaining. And then, but from there, it goes to kind of a friend section. It starts with Brian Summers and does some other, uh, I'm not sure if they're AMs or just buddies of Birdhouse. And uh, it's, it's all right. And then it takes kind of a weird turn into Steve Barra's part, which kind of is spooky as if someone's running after him and someone's chasing him. And all in all, the footage of him skating isn't that great. It's kind of heavily, uh, heavily edited and a lot of slow motion stuff, which I'm not a big fan of. And um, it ends with the CIA coming and cutting his head off and then taking his head and putting it in the bag, which was kind of interesting. And then um, from there, it goes to Jeremy Klein. Uh, this is kind of Jeremy Klein's like first little intro part. And there's not a whole lot of skating, but there's a lot of uh, ruining their tour van, which, uh, which is, you know, entertaining for sure. Um, and then from there it goes into this really weird, long, drawn out segment of uh, Jeremy Klein and Keith Quichard pretending to be really rich millionaires and going into their house and they have these sexy maids and they're taking baths and they're putting boards together and playing Super Nintendo and I mean it's entertaining but it's just so drawn out. I think it's the longest part in the video. And um, then they do this big sign thing where they set up a bunch of launch ramps and hit signs in front of banks and stuff like that. And uh, it's good, but a lot of slow-mo. It's not that amazing. And then they set the shed on fire and then their legs start on fire and then they skate and jump off a pier, which is pretty entertaining. Um, one of them doesn't quite make it, but still goes over the pier. And uh, that's kind of the big finisher. And then that transitions to Tony Hawk and uh, you know, classic Tony Hawk stuff, like number one, kid, blah, blah, blah. And uh, a lot of vert skating, a lot of Tony Hawk stuff, flip tricks on vert, big airs, stuff like that. And uh, all in all, not my cup of tea, but you know, somewhat entertaining. And uh, so it kind of starts with Tony Hawk and Bucky Elastic living together in the same house. And um, Bucky is kind of the, the living servant almost, you know, doing all the, the nitty gritty while uh, Tony Hawk, you know, has better things to deal with. So Bucky Elastic kind of gets enraged for not being number one and takes out Tony Hawk. And then there's a whole Bucky Elastic vert part, which uh, is all right, but it's like you already watched seven minutes of Tony Hawk vert and you got five minutes of Bucky Elastic vert coming up. And you kind of know what you're seeing. Again, not really my cup of tea. So, um... All in all, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the whole video, though, is filmed almost in a, like, 0.75 speed. So it's almost constantly in somewhat slow-mo. And then this clips where it's almost like 1.25. I don't like that. I don't like, I like watching real-time skating. And I like, I'm okay with slow-mo, but as long as there's a lot of real-time skating in there. And this one, it just seems like there's no actual time skating. So that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Also, the all the skits don't really make sense, you know what I mean? Like, there's three or four, there's about three main skits and they're not connected in any way. Either that or I'm missing this big umbrella theme that I'm obviously missing. So all in all, the end, I do like how it opens up. I think that's fun. Shows the skaters, shows their age. It's pretty funny, Tony Hawk's 30 years old, Andrew Reynolds 20, you know, back in the day. Rick McCrank's only 22. Um, all in all, I'd give it about a 6.2.
is what I'm thinking. And um, I mean, if it was the last skate video on earth, I'd watch it a couple times, but I think there's much better skateboarding around, especially in 1998, that's kind of a good year. So um, that's that for the end. Um, stay tuned, I have a lot of reviews coming up. Uh, we got a whole mess of VHS skate videos, as well as uh, a couple Super Nintendo games, and I will be, um, I think I'll be reviewing some vinyl too. So uh, stay tuned, thank you.